Hi, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to select images, insert images and crop them to circles and then how to align everything to your page. So the first thing is to go to insert and then go along to pictures, click on the drop down. Now you can obviously select your own pictures from your files but I'm actually going to use the stock images that are available in Word. So I'm just going to click on that. And then I'm going to search for a particular subject matter and I'm going to type in cakes. And when I go down and select my images, if I want them to be in a circle, I have to ensure that I can crop them firstly to a square. If you don't crop your images to a square, you'll actually end up with an oval shape rather than a circle. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to select this image here because you can see I can probably crop that to a square. Likewise this one, possibly this one. The reason I'm not sure is because you can see we've got a lot of height here and if I was to make it a square I'd have to come out to about here and I'm not so sure we've got enough space this side to make that a square. So I could crop a bit off the bottom if I wanted to. So I'm going to select that one and see how it goes, but I know I'm not going to get a square from that one. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use this one because I can actually crop a lot of these sticks out and just use the main body of the cakes or cake pops. And finally, I'm going to do the same with this one here. And then just click insert. Now, once all of your images are inserted, let's just scroll out. They will be inserted so that they are visible on multiple different pages. The other thing is that you won't be able to move your images because if you try to move them, they're just going to click back into place or change places with another image. So the first thing you need to do is to select an image, go to wrap text, click on the drop down and select in front of text. Now you'll begin to see that the photographs start piling on top of each other each time you do this, but don't worry, we can sort that out. Just keep going through and just click in front of text in the wrapping. Because what you'll begin to be able to do is to actually move these photographs out of the way. That one's already done, so we can move that one. And if you can't move it, you know the wrapping hasn't been changed. So now we can move all of the images. We need to crop them to a square. Now I'll just quickly demonstrate what will happen if we crop them to a circle now. So if I select this image here, I go to crop, click on the drop down. If I select crop to shape and select the circle, we've now got an oval shape. So that's why you need to firstly go to crop Go to Aspect Ratio, select 1 to 1. Now you can move the image, click in the middle, and you can move the image over to make sure you get the actual selection you want. But you can also resize it. But in resizing it, you must click, hold down the Shift key to maintain that 1 to 1 ratio. If you don't, you will begin to get a rectangle and then you'll be cropping to an oval again. Once you're happy, press enter, and now you've got a perfect square. So I'm going to go ahead with all of those and just go to the crop tool, go to aspect ratio, one to one, and once again use that crop tool and the shift key, click shift, move the square down, make sure you've got the selection you want, press enter and just keep moving the images out of the way. If you really are stuck and you need to move it forward, select the image, go up to bring forwards, click on the drop down and select bring to front. And there you can now fully edit your image in full view. So once again, we need to crop this to a square and press enter. So now all of your images have been cropped to a square. We can just select one, go to crop, crop to shape, and then select circle. And now you can resize them. You don't have to worry about hitting the shift key because they will perfectly resize as their aspect ratio. So I'm going to go through all of these and crop them to circles. 
and then I'm going to show you how you can make sure they're all exactly the same size and then how to perfectly align them to your page. So now I have all my circles, I can resize them and place them anywhere in my document and you may want them all different sizes and that's absolutely fine. If you want all of these images to be exactly the same size, just select your image, go up to height, make sure this is checked so you'll keep the same aspect ratio. So you'll lock that in place and if I change the height, the width will change automatically. So select the height, I'm going to choose 8 centimeters and press enter and you can see that the width has changed to 8 as well because we've locked in that aspect ratio. So just select each one and change it to 8 centimeters. press enter and then once they're all done I'll simply show you how to align them together and then how to align them to the page to make sure they're all perfectly centered. So now you need to decide where you want to place your images. So you may want the blue ones at the top together or you may want to move them around a bit. How much space you want your images to take up. So you might want them so they're all really close together and you might want a title at the top so you need to move them all down or you want them perfectly lined up so they take up most of the page. So roughly place them where you want to but you don't need to be super accurate. The first thing we're going to do is line up these two at the bottom. So select one, hold down your command or control key and select the other one. Go up to align, click on the drop down and select align to bottom. Go to the top, do the same at the top, hit the command key. Go to align, align to top. So now those two are perfectly lined up. Now we select this column of images here by hitting that command and control key as well. Click on the drop down and this time we're going to go to distribute vertically and that will ensure there's an equal space between each of these circles and then go to align and then align to left which will be all the circles aligned up to the left hand side. You can choose the centre or right, it doesn't matter, but to ensure they're all perfectly lined up together. We're going to do the same with this side. So make sure they are distributed vertically and then align to right, doesn't matter left or right. Then we can group this together. We can select all of these, select the group and then group them all together. And now go to align, align to center, align to middle. And now they're all perfectly lined up to your page. Now, if you want to export just the circles, not the page, not the white background, then all you need to do is to right click on that group, go to save as picture, and you can also do this with the individual images as well. So if you wanted to crop them and then save the individual images in a circle, you can also do that as well. So with the save menu, the most important thing is to save it as a PNG. When you save it as a PNG it means there's no background you'll just save the images. Save this to any of your files, I'll just save this to my desktop and then just click save. Now the advantages to doing this, if you wanted to use this again, let's just make another page, is that if I insert that image now, so I'm going to go to my pictures, picture from file, I've saved it to my desktop, so I'm going to go to picture one and then click insert and then it's inserted and it's selected so I'm just going to go to wrap text in front of text and you can see this is my image and these are my original images. This one is now a JPEG and although you can adjust the sizes of it and the aspect ratio, if I'm to move this in and out to resize it from the corners, it would act just like an image. If I try to do that with this one, you can see I can hit the shift key, but if I didn't hit the shift key, it would distort. Whereas with the JPEG, it won't distort. And again, you can just use this as an image any way you like. If I move it over, you can see there's no background there and it would act just like a photograph. So I really hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.